Stop ruining your novelty mugs by coating them in your discarded paint and definitely stop buying purpose-built paint cups. Instead, grab yourself a gum tub, a tub that once had chewing gum in it. If you chew gum yourself, simply purchase a tub of gum and then keep the discarded tub. If you don't chew gum, then perhaps find yourself a good friend who is willing to gift you an unused gum tub for your birthday or Christmas. Yes! Oh. Now before I go any further, let me apologise for basically doing a hobby hacks video. I know they tend to be incredibly lame. I'm going to try and prove that this one is worth listening to for three main reasons, plus an additional bonus reason. Reason one is incredibly straightforward. It has a very tight seal on the lid. If, like me, you have a cat who is currently going to town on a fish, then you know that they measure their value as a cat by how many things they can knock off other things during any given day. Yeah. Ball. Can I have that back, please? <laughs> I will now demonstrate that this tight seal will actually prevent any painty water from escaping the tub upon its knockation onto the floor. There we have it. And of course, cat or no cat, that's still helpful. Everyone knocks things off every now and again. The second reason is perhaps a little bit more subtle, but I would suggest even more important. These gum tubs have got a little lip at the back here. Now that lip might resemble the lip on a GW paint tub, uh, and it actually serves the same purpose. If before using your water, you give the tub a quick shake, then an amount of water will pool on that uh, lid, and then you can use that to very easily gauge how much water you're getting on your brush when you're trying to mix it into your paint to thin it down. If you use this lip, you can simply touch your paintbrush to it and you actually see the paint mixing with the water. You can see how much contact the bristles of the brush are having with the pool of water. And it's very easy to make sure you don't over dilute the paint and misjudge its viscosity. The third and final reason is the shape of the tub uh, enveloping inwards towards the lid makes it very hard for splashes to escape when you're drying your brush. And the bonus final reason is simply that you're reusing a piece of plastic. Reuse is better than recycling. And so this will go a very small, and I do mean very, very small way to delaying the inevitable death of our planet and our species. So if you want to protect your property, improve your paintwork, and leave a planet to your grandchildren that is cleaner by a genuinely insignificant margin, grab one of these. Thanks very much for watching. Remember that this is Battle Camper. Battle Camper is the YouTube channel where we try and undertake ambitious road trips around the United Kingdom and Europe, uh, whilst undertaking ambitious hobby projects from the back of a micro camper van. Uh, the only reason I've sat inside a comfy warm flat at the moment is because we're in lockdown and therefore I've been relegated to talking about a plastic tub. I literally just grabbed any old junk that I saw and thought, fuck it, we'll make a YouTube video about that. Uh, but I do have a road trip currently uploaded, which will appear somewhere on the screen. Uh, do check it out if that doesn't sound like an incredibly tedious prospect. And I hope to see you back for future road trips in the future, which of course will be easier if you subscribe to the channel.